Well, um, the light of the world has been in Tibet and, Ch and China and uh, India for a very long time. That has been shifted into South America, and so South America is going to be the new Tibet of the world. And uh, not all of it, but uh, it's actually centered in a place in northern Chile, but it encompasses a huge area of, of, of South America. We've, from what the indigenous people uh, from all over the world, not just uh, ones that we're familiar with, but from all over, they're in agreement that we have entered into a unique and special time in the history of the world. And it's a time where we are about to move from one way of being into a, com a completely different way of being. And, uh, and we can't see that right now. I mean, it, 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 we can hint at it, we can feel, we can see that there is a tremendous change happening around us. But uh, the kinds of changes that are about to occur, uh, they will be rather surprising to people um, because they have a different kind of nature of this time we're running into. Uh, uh, it has a nature where the old ways, the ways that we're used to and are familiar, begin to dissolve away in ways that are s somewhat disconcerting. At the same time, new ways begin to replace them that are very refreshing because they are, they're loving, they're kind, they're, they're easy. They're the kinds of thing mommy does to child, you know, to, and, and, and the ideas that we have had, have held, for example, Star Wars, where we have the concept that the universe is uh, fighting with each other. We're going to discover this isn't true, that actually the universe is a living being and it's conscious and it's very old and, uh, and it cares about itself in lots of ways. And, and, and so, uh, like I said, the ideas of Star Wars are just really a mental fear of humans. In truth, the universe really does everything it can to help each other. And we're entering into a time where that's going to become obvious. Where, where, where it looks helpless, we're going to find support. And where uh, everything just looks like there's just no way out, we're going to find the way out. We're going to see the light to go through it. Uh, and so it's a time of great hope that we're entering into. The Mayans specifically, uh, when they talk, they call this time the end of time because it's the end of a very long cycle. And it's the beginning of a new cycle. It isn't, the, it isn't like everything just comes to an end. It's just the end of one cycle and the beginning of the other. But uh, uh, it depends on which part of the cycle the Mayans are talking about. If they're talking about the old part of the cycle, which is what we're familiar with, that's the banking systems, the religions, the governments, and all this kind of stuff, uh, that's going to become extremely unstable. And if they are correct, it's going to break apart completely and dissolve away. Uh, but in its place is a, a brand new way of, of being, a way that we haven't seen on earth in almost anybody's lifetime in a long, long thousands and thousands of years, where fear goes away. Uh, we are about to the end of polarity and the ideas of good and evil uh, uh, the entire structure of what good and evil means, which is much more complex. It, it, uh, if you look at uh, the idea of good and evil, or good and bad, no matter what polarity you think of, you'll also see that there's a third one. So if you get hot and cold, there's warm. If you go up and down, there's the middle. If you go uh, the sun and the earth, there's the moon. If you go male and female, there's child. On and on and on. Our time is past, present, and future. Uh, space is X, Y, Z axis. And this is all a function of how we're interpreting the one reality. That one reality isn't going to change, but our consciousness is going to change. And when it does, uh, we're going to drop that. We're not going to see that anymore. And instead, we're going to see the unity of all life. And in the perception of that, when that perception changes, 
then it changes everything. Uh, and uh, all our sense of lack of need or can't do this or we can't, we have to heal, all those things go away. They just, they just end. And, uh, and we then realize that the whole universe is one living being. And, uh, and there is only one spirit moving through everything and one consciousness. A new way of perceiving uh, enters into life on earth and, uh, and we, in our lifetime, are going to experience this. I mean, right now, at this moment, in, in um, 2008, uh, it just seems, can't be. It's, it's, the world is crazy. You know, uh, they're at war, they're trying to kill each other, the financial systems are ready to break apart, and on and on and on. But that's not what the, uh, the, the ancient ones on this planet are saying. They're saying, finally, we are entered into this place and we are about to see something brand new. It's really very old, actually. <laughs> the, 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 it isn't that there is a mission. <laughs> it isn't that there's really anything to do. Uh, it is about transformation. And it's vibration, it's beingness rather than doing. Uh, doingness is, is, or having to do, or having to accomplish is part of polarity consciousness but we're going to enter into a state soon and we have actually already entered into it. We just aren't, it's still a baby, it isn't, it's still growing. But uh, we, the, the very idea of needing to do something in order to accomplish something or that we need something because we feel like we lack it uh, just will be obsolete and, won't, and those ideas won't even enter into us because we will have the ability to achieve anything instantly on any level of existence imaginable. Uh, we're, we're, we are about to gain control of the dreaming state of the heart. And that is the place where creation took place in the first place. We think that we're living on a planet that's floating around the sun. It isn't true. There is no planet and there is no sun. Uh, there isn't anything. It's just pure consciousness and nothing more. And, and the images that, are, that, uh, that we are looking at, the stars, the planets, and the moons, and everything, are really a dream that it was created in the heart a long time ago. And when we enter back into the state of the living heart, uh, we, and we begin to dream the way we did millions of years ago, we'll realize that we can just change anything. In the beginning, when that takes place, it's funny because people uh, uh, get excited about it actually because and usually what happens because we've watched this on other planets and other places and other times is that they they go oh, wow and they they start fixing everything in their body and they heal everything and then they give themselves all kinds of money and everything they think they need and then they realize well that's there's more than that and, uh, and all those things kind of go to the wayside and uh, then they begin to uh, another thing they do is make themselves very beautiful because you can change anything in your body, it's just an image. <laughs>